morning, everybody. Uh, it's time to play Knight Rider. I've had Knight Rider uh, on my shelf for far too long. Uh, this has been out for a while. You can go and pick this up. This has been... Uh, some of you are probably... Uh, depending on your uh, affinity towards LEGO Dimension, have probably already checked this out. Um, so what you're looking at is... Uh, the open world. Morning, everybody. Let me know if everything sounds okay. I throw in some uh, some extra cameras here. We got a close-up cam. You can also see we're in the Night Rider world, but I got Excalibur Batman over here, <clears throat> and uh, not exactly sure what that's from. That might be like a Lego Movie reference or a Lego Batman movie, which I've yet to see reference. But we got the original Batman over here, Excalibur Batman hype. Um, so, uh, but uh, we have not built uh, Kit yet. Who, uh, you know, I love Michael Knight, I love Hasselhoff, who I don't believe provided the voice for the characters does not sound like Hasselhoff. Sounds like Nolan North, actually. Um, KT90, seven months, thank you. Kill Striker, these are names I see a lot. 14 months, thank you so much. Um, yeah, you got the perfect sync with the camera. Or actually, I don't that demonstrated yet, but like, yeah. You know. Got that sync, live and learn. Didn't know, you know, I thought it was a long, like, like Ghostbusters, you can't cross the streams. I didn't think we could have two USB webcams at the same time, but we can. So if we're building Legos, uh, speaking of building Legos, I got a very big Lego project to get to one of these days. Um, but this is Michael Knight. He is from a television show called Knight Rider. That television show was on the television in the 1980s, which understandably was before many of you were alive. I loved this show. It's a show about a guy who, uh, this organization fakes his death to basically turn him into, like, a secret agent to go around and, you know, help people and solve silly problems. And, uh, he does so with the help of his car, which is named Kit. Which is voiced by, if you've ever seen the musical, uh, 1776, uh, the, uh, voice of Kit is John Adams, I believe, in the film of the musical 1776. I remember, like, watching that in history class or something and being like, wait a minute. Like, that guy's voice is in my brain. How is that happening? Um, and uh, the way that uh, uh, Knight Rider works, he's just the character in the car. I mean, you can't ask for a more perfect figure-to-vehicle combination than Michael Knight and Knight Rider. Uh, or Kit, rather. Spelled K-I-T-T. -T. I don't remember what it stands for. Uh, and... Um, he gets his own little open world, and so that's where we're going to run around. Uh, we're going to be shooting tabletop escapades at noon today, which is in two hours, so I will probably bow out around 11.30. Um, the guys might show up. Kyle Bossman might pop in and have a couple things to say about this. Um, MacGyver, exactly. We need MacGyver. I don't know what vehicle he would have. Maybe like a Swiss Army knife. Nick Offerman is the voice? Okay, I'll take Nick Offerman for this. I'll take it. Flint Paper 577 thank you so much. For the two-month resub, welcome. Hanging out. Tried that first month out, back for more. Um, things are blowing up. Uh, so he gets his own little world. He doesn't get levels. Uh, but much like the A-Team world, I'm curious. You know, like, I remember characters from Knight Rider, but, like, I, I certainly don't remember the world. But before we get to that... Time to prove that one man can make a difference. Exactly. Here we go. Buckle up. I'm so terrified how long that Disney castle is going to take to build. That's got to be 8-10 hours. It has to be. It has to be a full day of living on this planet. To actually put all of that together if you're just going to do it solo. Which I kind of want to do. I kind of want... I, I, I don't really want to mess anybody up with that. I kind of want to just take that... Take that all by myself. I remember building the Millennium Falcon, and that took, like, definitely more than an hour, maybe two. Um, okay. We are starting out with a great piece. We are going to build one of the most iconic TV cars. I ask you, chat, uh, the General Lee from Dukes of Hazard or Knight Rider, which is the more iconic TV car? Discuss. I've, it's probably the General Lee, but still. Dukes of Hazard would be a fun, uh, albeit racist addition to, uh... Two Lego Dimensions. Okay, already we're so... Oh, there we are. Searching for pieces. I dig the soundtrack. I think this is all new music. <clears throat> B 
Because sometimes they'll use original audio from old TV shows and movies and stuff. And um, they... Uh, um, here, I can put that right there, you guys. That's where the vehicle's going to sit on. Excuse me, Batman. Dukes of Hazard. Some people pulling for Knight Rider. Um... <clears throat> For those of you that are familiar with Knight Rider, but didn't like grow up with Knight Rider, um, at Universal Studios in Hollywood, I don't know if they did this in Florida, I don't know if there was a Universal Studios Florida, like in the 80s, but uh, Kit was, um, they had like a little harbor area, I don't know if they got rid of that too, it was up on the upper level, um, it was out uh, not too far from where um, uh, the Simpsons ride is now, and um, uh, you could sit inside Kit. You could go up and uh, they had a, an actor that was in a booth somewhere watching and could, could see the interior of the car on a camera. And you could go in and talk to Kit. Uh, and I liked that a lot. <laughs> I enjoyed doing that. I waited in line for that, for sure. Just to ask Kit dumb questions. And I think that might have been on the cusp of me actually believing I was inside Kit having a conversation with him. I think I was just approaching that age where I was like... I get it. And that's like... I don't know. I, I think about that a lot. You know you know me in Disneyland. Like, I like to go to theme parks and stuff. And I see a small child... <clears throat> going up and meeting Mickey Mouse and getting his autograph. And thinking to myself... When does that stop? The actual 100% belief... That... that I mean, that's, that's Mickey Mouse. That's the same person I saw in the cartoons. That's the same person I see in commercials. That's him. You see the parade later, and you're like, yep, there he is again. Like, when does that... Like, does that ever truly exist? When does that go away? At what age? Is there an average? Like, where is this weird L-shaped piece? There's lots of questions. Oh, it's hiding underneath that guy. I thought it was another shaped piece. But it was hiding beneath another piece. There's a little... There's a little update. It's where we're at. You can kind of see it from... Let's see. It's where we're at in the build. Um... Because I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like you can't remember your birth, you know? Like, I don't, I, you know, I was there, but uh, the specifics are fuzzy. Nine, six, eight, eight. Lotiaz just said, what's up, Lotiaz? You're a subscriber now. Lotiaz just pulled the trigger. Lotiaz was like, uh, uh, fine, I'll do it. I'll sub. Fine. I'll sub. Fine. Fine. Do you want me to sub? I'll sub. So somewhere between six and nine years old. Memory is key. Memory starts developing at two, three. Okay. Memory. Pff. I'm more of a RAM kind of guy. I'm actually not. I, that's a lie. I don't know how to build a PC. I love these. The curves. I love the curves when you put the curves in. The curves are really satisfying. Yeah! Oh, I can't wait to get in this thing start tearing around. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the most exciting builds I think I've done in Dimensions. In, like, the entire game. Like, I love the Ecto-1, I love the Batmobile. But... This show survived. I mean, Hasselhoff is great and all. But this show, for me, was just all about how cool this car was. And the idea that you could have a car that was alive. And it was smart. You know, I was a big Batman fan, too. And Kit's basically Alfred. Like, Kit, like, his attitude and um, how he, like, trolls Michael and Michael. I wonder if he's going to have a lot of VO. Where am I? Oh, I just put that. Oh, whoops. Okay. Jump the, I jumped the gun there. Okay, and then that rests on that. Yeah, that does fit. Okay. Cool, cool. Putting some red in the back. Dun -dun -dun -dun. What's the morality of driving something with sentience? I mean, you know, you should, like, ask permission and stuff. I think he does steal it. I can't remember, like, specific the specifics of the story, but I think he does... Um, it's like escaping from prison or something, or... 
And he, like, doesn't know it's alive when he first grabs him. But there were some silly, silly episodes of Knight Rider. This, this show could get goofy. <clears throat> and it's funny because Hasselhoff basically played like an assassin, you know? He was like a very dangerous, supposedly very dangerous man. And it's like, with that afro? I don't think so. <laughs> it just doesn't... I don't know. Hasselhoff is many things. Intimidating? I don't know if is one of them. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been intimidated by a Hasselhoff performance. Entertained? Oh yeah. You get your money's worth with Hasselhoff every day. It doesn't matter if it's Baywatch, if it's Knight Rider, if it's any of the weird like video games he's in. Isn't he in a Saints Row game or something? This is kind of like the Tron Legacy soundtrack right now. I'm loving this. Kate's got important questions. I'll make sure I didn't miss anything. Sorry. My eyes are obviously laser focused on the Lego. Mm. Uh, the community comments is just March. Um, I will hopefully finish that today. I gotta edit it on my laptop because there's so many shoots back to back that we've been doing that I'm editing it on my tiny little laptop and it just makes it take longer. Um, I know the Universe of Orlando is the DeLorean. I'm not sure Kit was there. Cool. Let's see if the DeLorean was there though. Lotia sneaked in another song. That's one thing, you know, if you don't care about the gold star, you can always just like bail on Twitch and then come back and then you'll get another subscriber song. So you can, you know, you can milk that. Because I was surprised. Like, Lotiaz? Cool. Okay. We got glass now. Here, let's just change it up. Let's switch to this as we finish, as we finish the car. To give you kind of a, a blow by blow. Uh, cool. I guess we wait. Is that? Oh, down there. Okay. I love things like this red here, which I'm about to. Oop, I do that, and then I switch to the close. Ooh, let me get. Let me get super close up. I love this. Uh, the red here, because we're gonna see that uh, through another part that's basically going to, um, uh, you know, be covered by something, but like a little bit of that red glowiness will peek through. So. You can even see it by the tires. I love that. Pause that. Bow, bow. Time to drive this around. Almost there. Finish line is in sight. Can't tell you the 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 the, the buildup of emotions when there's a Lego figure and car of an iconic franchise that I adore is just sitting on the shelf there. Every time I would walk over to do research. And Michael Knight's just like, Brandon, come on. Let's do it. You know it's not even a level pack. It won't take long. I'm like, I know, it's just a world. And he's like, just download it right now. Let's do it. Let's just drive around. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm saving it for the stream. I love these tires. Because you just, you don't, there's no strategy. It's not like they go, it's not like the Joy, Joy-Con strap things. Where it's just like, okay, plus equals minus or whatever. You just pop them in. Only one side fits onto it, you know. It's such a gratifying, I love that they save it for last. Because it's just such a gratifying, like, finish. They're like, can't mess this up. <laughs> it's not like a sticker where you're like, I'm going to mess this up. I'm going to be so patient when I put this sticker on. But it's going to look stupid no matter what. Aww. Excuse me, boys. I mean, let's just... Let's just... So, of course, the red in the front, which is not reflecting that much, which is unfortunate, is the iconic... I mean, it'd be so sweet if you put it on the base and it lit up. But, um... I mean, you might see it when you actually put him in game, but he's got this kind of, like, east-west... Um... Um, bang, 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 back and forth in front of the car. Uh, and then he's got a little light thing in the cockpit in the driver's seat that indicates that he's talking. So, curious how this is going to be visually represented. But. 
mean, this this car talks, so I'm curious how much personality he's going to have once we bring this quote-unquote character in two dimensions. There it goes. You can see the light going. Oh, yeah. Hello. I'm the voice of Night Industry 2000's microprocessor. K-I-T-T -T for easy reference. Or Kit, if you prefer. Cool. I don't think that actor's alive, so they, you gotta do a voice match. And I think that voice match was, was legit. So yeah, there we go. You can see the light back and forth. Oh, I love it. Yes. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, just makes me happy. I think that you know, it's like toys to life is cool. It's neat having them and building and stuff like that. But like, I'm just so stoked that like, you know, we we can't. Unfortunately, we can't get like a Cagney and Lacey playset. But it's just neat that like these old franchises that there's some like 16 year old kid out there who's like Knight Rider. <laughs> the hell's Knight Rider? And it's like, it's not just like, oh yeah, it's on Netflix, so they're streaming it on Twitch, you can go watch all the episodes. Like, no, it's a game. You can go play it. You can go check it out and, and run into stuff and smash signs and pick up shiny things. And they wrote new dialogue and it's all kind of irreverent and self-aware and uh, it's just a gift. It's really fun. Because I wonder, you gotta wonder if there's anybody, like how hardcore is the Knight Rider fan base? Like, are there people that are just absolutely crazy about it, or do they Knight Rider conventions? Can I jump in Knight Rider? Can I jump in Kit? Okay, no. Oh. Wow, what do we have here? Looks just as valuable as Kit's molecular bonded shell, but way brighter. It's like a really excited Nick Offerman. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, Kit. Oh, Kit comes right back. Okay, so that's like the rich mansion. We might not want to go there just yet. But... Just like the A-Team world, I'm like... Yeah, I don't know if I can necessarily remember, like, locations. There's ten of those? Nice. See, it's just... It's basically just like a dark, gritty Forza Horizon, you know? I love how Kit is smaller than any of the other cars. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what? And there's nobody driving these cars? Like, this is a weird design choice. <laughs> oh, there's people in those. Weird. Those are very dark, too. Oh, so there's, yeah, you can kind of hear that, like, that hum. It kind of sounds like a, a breathing or almost like like an owl or something. Like, that's a kid as well. It's kind of like his idle noise. Yes. New Donk City. Um, will he stream any of the Disney Castle build? I would watch every second of that stream with joy. Uh, yeah, I will stream that entire thing. If I build that Disney Castle, I will stream it. Uh, because that is a gift from... Uh, the community, so part of that gift is uh, me <laughs> building that thing. <laughs> Challenge accepted, you know what I mean? Like, sure. Guard's secret hideout, what's up? Surprised to see me? Driving a truck off a cliff and plunging into the sea may have been the end for most men, but not for Garth Knight. However, while I remain intact, the same cannot be said for Goliath. I managed to salvage most of it, but some crucial parts continue to elude me. Find them for me, so I can return Goliath to Man, his former if you're, glory. Like, I'm into Knight Rider. I don't know if I remember Garth, but... If you do, and you're like, GARTH! <laughs> yeah. Just keep flashing red areas on that to complete your check. 
Go up there with that door, nice. The Brick Palace. Man, it's pretty swinging places. We'll, 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 we'll uh, I should have traveled downtown. Clearly driving down the wrong way on this road. We're gonna go get that, that billboard over there. So, again, I got, um, uh, Excalibur Batman, which, you know, we can throw on in a sec. I mean, he's, he, Excalibur Batman's not gonna get a new world like this, because he, he just belongs to the DC world, which, um, I don't love. The DC world's okay. I wasn't, like, actually crazy about it. It feels kind of empty and voidish, where a lot of these other places have, uh, have just a great personality. And feel like actual locations, where it's, like... Their Arkham Asylum is like weird. Like I did I didn't even know it was Arkham Asylum until like I kept coming back and being like, oh that's what that is, okay. But still fun. It's a part of the main game, so. I guess he comes with uh Batman and he unlocks it. What's up? Restore the Buck and Bronco. Becky! You're back! Becky's back! Bucking with the best of all! Uh, yeah. Do we need contacts around the Buck and Bronco? I guess not. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Tension. Uh, oh, it's speeding up. I can't see the button until the very end. What it, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ugh. Nice. Did I make back more than I invested? I don't know. I'm satisfied, kid. Let's go. I wonder if, you know how, like, I don't know if you, uh, any of y'all remember, but, uh, I don't know if it was on The Tonight Show or something, but I remember Kevin Spacey was on a talk show when he first did his impression of Christopher Walken, which kind of kicked off, like, everybody, like, doing Walken and having, like, their own Walken. And I wonder if Nick Offerman doing either specifically Michael Knight or just Hasselhoff is, like, a thing. I wonder if, like, on the set of Parks and Rec they would ask Offerman, like, dude, do, uh, do Hasselhoff again. Or if there was, like, a fun Hasselhoff news story, like, he would always, like, talk about it. Um, and do his little jokey Hasselhoff voice. So when the casting people were like, oh, we need to get... It's, like, hard to believe Hasselhoff was busy, though. Dimension seems like something Hasselhoff would totally do. This dirt road, FYI, is very Knight Rider. Like, they definitely... It's kind of like Dukes of Hazard, where they would just, you know, spend the budget just going out to weird places in the desert and driving real fast. If you head to the right, sorry I missed with the delay, it's tough to it's tough to take directions. I will hopefully try to go everywhere. Maybe we can go back. Let's see, can we get up this thing? How do we get in here? This isn't exactly in my wheelhouse. Can you use intelligent panels by using their intelligence ability? Okay. I have her. Where's she? That is the question. Can I find her somewhere in the collection? So many figures. I don't know. I think she would be right there. Oh boy. Oh, I don't know if I've actually built that yet. I don't know if I've actually... Yeah, I don't know if I've actually put that one together. I have it over there. But uh, I don't know if I finished that. Hire a hero? Sure. Yeah, sure. Oh, I just remembered. Devin wanted me to return his tea cozy. Better do it now before I forget. Am I 
I see something? This will be solved in no time at all. Match the pairs of symbols that appear together by moving that and pressing that. Okay. What in the world? Or do I not hold it down, just hit that? Oh, sorry. Oh man, I can't even see that thing. Wait a minute. Okay, sorry. Oh, it's like match. Okay. what they were asking me to do. I could barely see those. Sorry. <laughs> Good times. Oh, do you just become that character for that amount of time? So yeah, we. I have the Ghostbusters... Uh, which has a backdrop. There's actually a Batman version that has the a backdrop as well. Um, Batman comes with a. We can also build that too. Uh, Batman comes with a uh, like like horse. I think it's called a bionic steed. <laughs> the Excalibur Batman. I was like Lego, you so crazy. Some sorry. Top Cat 3. You're a subscriber now. Top Cat 3. The Code Vein reveal trailer. Yeah, we talked about that on the podcast. I never actually watched it, though. Apologies if I missed that secret. Any prediction of when Sea of Thieves is coming out? Oh, I'll be cool. Ooh. I wonder if... I mean, it would be in Microsoft's best interest to get that game out this year. I wonder if... They're not necessarily going to shadow drop it at E3, but it'd be nice to get a release date at E3, and it'd be nice if it was this year. Um, because if if I'm in Vegas, I'd probably bet that we're not seeing it this year. Because it just felt like that kind of a project that was in the heavy concept phase, and that concept had been proven. But the quote-unquote game was going to take a while. Because there just wasn't, wasn't a big team, and... Um, Potentially a No Man's Sky situation where it's like a lot of support, but marketing wise, but you know, it actually came to like putting the assets together to finish the game. Um, there was just not a ton of people working on it, so it took a long time. All these ramps I've been super smooth on. No. Instinct, 3,005 months. Thank you, Instinct. One easy allies pirate crew or several competing ones? Uh, competing would be pretty funny. Depending on how that works. I don't know the actual specific systems. So, uh... Okay, clearly we gotta do whatever race is in here. Frame rate's buckling a little bit. Kit did have, like... Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay, there we go. That's cool. I'm like, Kit was able to do damage. I don't know why he doesn't have, like, lasers or anything or missiles or stuff. But he does. Cool. So can't do that while I'm driving. That's like a... You hold down the square button and he does that. But, yeah, that's terrific. That's awesome. Good to know. Sound store. Thing over there, gas station. 
Oh, just straight up Vegas? <laughs> Oh, the old Stardust? Nice. Alright, I love you, Kit. But I'm gonna go... We're gonna hang out in Vegas for a little bit. Cool, yeah, so I just guess we're in Vegas. Because sometimes, again, it, that's why like the DC one is a little wishy-washy and it's and it's uh, kind of conception is uh, there's like Gotham's there and Metropolis and maybe a couple other things. So I didn't know if this was like a couple of towns put together, but I guess it's just Vegas. Vegas at, 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 at eternal sunset. Uh oh. Sultan's on fire. Can I talk to these people? Can I do? Is there a... An ice cream truck I can throw in there? What? Prioritize evacuating people. Your gold brick will just have to wait. Doesn't hold and select the toy tanks that we will teleport to. Oh, okay. Don't tell anyone I dropped my ice cream. Okay. Why do I need it here for some reason? All right. Ethan Hunt, I have. Be a lone crusade. I'm sorry, ma'am, but we have to prioritize evacuating people. Yep. Your gold brick will just have to wait. I'm aware that there's a Mission Impossible level back. Okay, so I gotta be a fireman. Tom Cruise coming in just stealing Hasselhoff's thunder. There's still some folks trapped around the back. See if you can help them. Any idea where I can get myself one of those self-parking cars? Probably when I said I wanted a vacation somewhere hot. This was not what I had in mind. Ouch. <laughs> it's like, oh, can I put out fires? Like, oh, I can shoot people, apparently. Always looking for that wall in a Lego game where you're just like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, man. What door am I opening? For not tipping the bellboy, isn't it? Cool, do I have the right disguise? Do I pass? Yeah. He'll take a check. Did I save all the people? Excuse me, Knight. Michael Knight's just like, wow, this uh, Ethan Hunt guy is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, thanks for 
Thanks for helping out, I guess. Is that it? I think there would be some kind of celebratory thing that would happen after I had finished that. But I guess that's it. Cool. You made it. Kit. Uh, yeah, I was definitely aware that MacGyver had started. You know who's a big MacGyver fan? Is Mr. Don Casanova. Um, actually, our, our dear friend Luke Arnold uh, was in an episode of MacGyver. Or is in an episode of MacGyver coming up or something. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they, they, had, they had a lot of billboards around in Los Angeles. That was literally just a gigantic explosion and him flying through the air smiling. I was like, okay. <laughs> I just haven't had the time to, to watch MacGyver, but I'm aware of it. I think it's fine that they bring it back. Don't tell anyone I dropped my ice cream. I used to watch MacGyver back in the day, but I don't I don't hold MacGyver in the in my heart in the type of place where I'd be like oh, MacGyver You can't remake MacGyver. this now oh a car with a telephone inside what will they think of next a two four five three one <laughs> Ethan Hunt still in his fire I wonder what that is connected to Beating up dumpsters. Not even driving around anymore. Just, just beating up dumpsters. These old garages remind me of Grand Theft Auto 3. There are lots of... You stole lots of cars in Grand Theft Auto 3. In the later Grand Theft Auto games, kind of got away from that. Oh, there's one of the parts that you need, that you need to rebuild whatever... Difficult. Crazy vehicle that person's working on. Hey, what's up? Like diving gear, the fountains go kaput. Think you can hold your breath long enough to fiddle with them switches? Uh. I don't know. I gotta find diving gear. Okay. Can I hit the balls that light up? I think I'm like. I think I like stare at the thing while it's going. I don't think I can then. Oh. That was like a cutscene. Yeah. Any idea where I can get myself one of those self-parking cars? Probably not the kind of animals I don't know. Okay, let's do one pass of Vegas. See if we can get in any of these. Oh hi. What? What? What, what can I build? Yeah, I want a Vegas sign. There's a race too. Nailed this race. Nailed it. Okay. Shouldn't have taken that shortcut. It's all about patient practice. I'm seeing some star some Stargate hype. <laughs> Stargate is fun. I, I wish I'd watched uh, the Stargate show. Yeah, talk about MacGyver. Grand Arcanum's going for a run.
Excuse me, Cavs. You just go faster when you were reversing. I did uh, when I did the one the one eighty turn around. He goes pretty fast. I might be a lone crusader in a dangerous world, but it's the world of the Night Rider, so that's fine by me. I lo I still think it's so funny that his car is like. Super tiny. <laughs> the kid's is a little baby kid. What? Is it going the wrong way? Something going on here, right? Something with this guy. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, a Simpsons hit and run stream would be jolly. Uh, I need to buy a new PS3 to replace my old broken one. Um, I don't think I have that disc. I'd have to dig that up. But I love Simpsons Hit and Run. Yeah, that's one of the best licensed game ever. I quote Simpsons Hit and Run. Like, that's how funny that game was. And I will quote that game and be like, wait a minute, that's not from like an episode of The Simpsons, that's from that video game. It's like, uh... The South Park games. Ad... Sure. Did that... Did I do that? And Sammy's stunt show spectacular is seriously the sickest spectator sport sensation of the century. Okay, so it looks like we can build something over here. Some awful black car came screeching. The jukebox, sure. We have a whole world of music at our fingertips once more, including that new song that's a huge hit in Germany. Outside? I don't know about that. Don't leave that outside overnight. What? Oh, I was gonna say. Like, are all these from Knight Rider? Yeah. You seen that truck driving around the place? No, I want the funky beats. Yeah, there we go. I tried to check it out. Oh wait. I just can't run that fast. Sorry, we're gonna get tagged for this, but Like, I love Hasselhoff. I think Hasselhoff is really cool. I think this song is cooler than Hasselhoff. It's a cool song. Talking car? Yeah, like I need anyone else commenting on my drive. Hmm. I don't think we'd really, like, heard that by itself. So I'm glad we got that in there. I was expecting to start the stream with that. Like, before we started the stream, while we were waiting... For you know, waiting for it to uh, to get going. I was like, oh, I should just have that rolling. And I came into the world and was like, oh, okay, it's it's funky, but it's not necessarily like that. Uh, Trouble with Dimensions is I always remember 
what these things are throughout the course of a playthrough, and then I don't play this game again for like a month, and then I just totally forget. Who can do these? It's some super strong character. I think it's like... How are we supposed to go to the bathroom? Bane or somebody can well, you just, uh, open these up. Oh. Anybody remember? Hmm. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie has some really good uh, hop moments. Superman apparently can do these. Actually, I have Superman ready to go. Oh, because there's big and strong and. Never fear. The man of steel is here. Or he just punches the crap out of it. No, oh, get out of here, Superman. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though, that, like, having Superman as support, he just kind of flew around and, like, <laughs> melted people. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Do what you want. The boss ain't gonna miss one lousy brick. Push the chair in the desk. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh. Sorry, everyone, this is just a really tricky puzzle. No, I don't know. Better one, this is taking forever. Wow, what do we have here? Looks just as valuable as Kit's molecular bonded shell, but way brighter. Get there. Come on. Is that fun? Can I smash this stuff, too? No. Oh, I can't. Smashing it feels good. And we're out. Okay, let's go do that race. Go do this race. Let's go take on that uh, base at the top of the hill. What is this? Whoa! Battle mode? Oh, and you can play against other people? Okay, so that's like a multiplayer. Okay. Uh, we need to do that. I think doing that single player would like not work. Slam and Sammy stunt show spectacular. Just kind of like run around the world. Oh. Oh. It was inoperable for a second there. Is there anything I can do? Should I just run around the track or is there a starting point? How about this guy, can I talk Sam, to you? Ask me to fix up this grandstand. Oh yeah. There we go. People have a place to sit and watch when that black car inevitably shows up and starts trashing the place. <laughs> or doing some cool stunts. <laughs> Either way, they're in for a real treat. Excuse me, do you know if there's any kind of like organized events? Not battle related, but something, you know. Seems to be lots of cool excite bike stuff going on here. Weird, what's what's up, Kit? I can't I cannot get in Kit. When I go up next to him, weird. Hello again, Michael. Hello. I trust your day has been just as strange as the one I've been having. That's a pretty good voice match for Kid. Oh, great. The second we get the new grandstand sorted, this
Well, we did that at least. Oh, and I can smash into these two. Oh, hey! Hey, what's going on? Now then, who have we got here? You here to see the show? Slam and Sammy. Well, sorry to disappoint you, pal, but my drivers are no show, which sadly for you and me both means no show, unless. Uh, this game is better than Lego City Undercover. Lego City Undercover is fun, but, um... Uh, this game is more complex. This game just has more generally going on. you could put on a fancy enough display for the folks in the stands... Lego City Undercover is surprisingly good, though. Great game to get on Switch. Uh, yeah, man, that's what I'm here for. Yes! Cancel that quest. Come on over to the starting line. We'll, you know, we'll get I'm not gonna you find all those pieces anyway. All right, let's see what you can do. Get behind the wheel and show me what you got. All right. Like I'm not tripping it. Like the triangle button would pop up. You, I could jump in them. Weird. Hello again, Michael. Hello, I... I trust your day has been just as strange as the one I'm having. We'll start with a simple loop, go. just to warm you up. All right. Round corners one and two. Over the steeples. Let's get some people in these stands. Come on, let's make an event out of this. Don't hit those cones. How about we kick things up a notch for this next one? Whoa, where are you going? Whoa. The old figure eight ought to test your metal. Whoa. Good luck. What was the cookie treat you slurped coffee through before? Oh, the, uh, uh, the Tim Tam? Oh, I believe you're referring to a Tim Tam? Which you would enjoy to slam. I wonder if this, I wonder if Sam here has ever slammed a Tim Tam. All right, give me two laps you ever slammed a Tim Tam, Sam? I hear people cheering. I don't see anybody. No, no one's even showing up early. There are people over there. There's a cool race going on over here. Not gonna watch. Nobody's gonna watch. Now, finish it off by speeding down that final straight. Looking good. Now let's finish it off with a big one. Next one's the big finish. We're going straight from a figure eight to an S loop. You with me? Good. Whenever you're ready. We gonna light on fire? Yeah. Go, go, go! <laughs> he is so excited. Bless his heart. Go. Going through the ring of fire. I drove through a burning ring of fire. Yeah, <laughs> wow, that was wow. Watching you hot dogging it around. 
found that track was something else. Only thing missing was a bit of ski. <laughs> you reckon you've got some skiing in you? No, sorry, forget it. That was perfect. Now, how about that trophy I promised you? Though the top came off a while back, so it's basically just a block. <laughs> but it's gold, and that's the important part, right? Oh, and you're welcome anytime you want to come do another show for us. Us? Who's us? It's you. It's Slam and Sammy. It's me and Slam and Sammy hanging out. Trying things out. Maybe this construction guy? Okay, the construction guy counts. He's like, I just turned the fire on and off. Are you are you alright, buddy? You freaking out? What's going on? You having problems? Uh, this guy's a little shell-shocked for the performance. He's just not... Is the fire? Like, what is the fireworks? So these fireworks are just going to be going off here, like, the whole time? Michael Knight doesn't need barriers. Michael Knight needs Lego studs. You understand. I might be a lone crusader in a dangerous world. Round one and two into the figure eight. Getting studs. I wouldn't care if it didn't have that meter up top, but if it's got the meter, then it's like, all right, I need to. Okay, let's go get these. Because it's a thing. It's in a. It's a goal. Anytime a video game gives me a goal, I'm like, ah, do I want to do it? I'm making the decision right now. I'm not just gonna think, oh yeah, maybe I'll do that later five times. Like, no, am I doing it or not? There's a, if there's a, a brick in it for me, you're on, Lego Dimensions. The meter dopamine, yeah. Gonna fill that meter, boy, boy. This uh, soundtrack also kind of sounds like uh, GTA in a way. It sounds like parts of GTA 5 or San Andreas. Whoa the edge like no man's sky I'm playing so much Zelda I almost like had the desire there to uh, just go like climbing up that wall or like pull out my uh, glider okay okay we got that thing something's going on in there Down to fire water. Oh sure, I can handle this. Fill spray. I can do non correlated things too, you know. Fill spray. Fill switches. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Uh, later, Kay. Um. Who would I? The part of the board gonna light up? Can Aquaman do that? Maybe Aquaman. I think Aquaman does that. There he is. Well, you know who does, uh, you know who does that, I think, is Krusty. I think, I think Krusty's got a sensor bottle. I already built the clown bike. No, I built it. There we go. Hello. Hello. Can I come in? Yeah. What 
Uh, Play Knight Rider. Knight Rider. Bloops. I can't switch back. Good to morning, it. everybody. Come on, Zulf. Come on. Come on, girlfriend. Oh, no. She doesn't want to come on. Yay. Krusty. Whoa. He's kind of hard to look at, you know? Krusty. Yeah, he, he reminds me of the clown from It in this particular iteration. Scary? What are we talking about scary? What? Uh. And kids in midair, there's thing. well, at least Kit here. What? Kit, right, uh, Krusty riding Kit. Oh. <laughs> Sophie's just, you know, she's business oriented. She's, um, on a mission to do it right. Here, I'm going to... Thanks, Krusty, that was fun. Come on, Sophie. Uh, I'm gonna grab somebody we usually don't grab. Who? I'm gonna grab a Ninjago character. Whoa! Cause we, gotta, Cause we gotta do some infiltration right here. I am here to assist in any way oh, I can. Oh, you the... Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there she is. Hey, That's that? so funny. Who cares? Stop I think it's time to give this dog a bath. Yeah? Yep. Getting stinky again. But Sophie never smells too bad, does she? Sophie's like the least smelly dog ever. She's like, I hate this. Why are you holding me, Mom? Oh, it's Michael Knight. Uh, no, I'm not beating Zelda on purpose because um, there's just so much to do. Like, I got all the Divine Beasts, I have the Master Sword. It's just a matter of like, I haven't seen the world yet. I don't wanna, I don't wanna quit. I don't wanna stop. Be sure to and we'll be limited. Welcome, would you? Do you think that I help your streams or hinder them? You can help me if you can uh, let me figure out what I gotta do here. Are you at Batman's house? Uh, no, this is all Knight Rider world. Oh. So this is like something from Knight Rider. But it looks like Batman's house. Yeah. What's it called again? Well, what's his Wayne name? Wayne Manor. There you go. Was that bad? You hate it when I'm condescending with puzzles. Was that... You weren't very condescending. I let you, you know... Sound it out. <laughs> that, well, now you're pushing it. Jones, why do you do that? Why do you do that? Because I know it's bad. <laughs> it's like when you, you have a toothache, you know? It's like, you're like, I shouldn't, you know, press okay. my... I should press my tongue against that because it hurts. What's going on with this? But you do it. Um, this Check this out. So you got close up so you can oh. see. People can see our little... Uh, people can, they, they can decide for themselves if Krusty's terrifying. What's more terrifying, me looking over the table at Krusty or Krusty looking in the camera? It's way too close. But look at Excalibur Batman. What? Why does he have Excalibur? Um, Why? I don't know. What? I, I'm, I'm curious to see what kind of lore you can come up with. Oh, I can come up with lore. But, but why? Like, why in actuality? Is it an Arthurian legend Batman crossover? Uh, I, I, certainly at some point in the the legacy of Batman, he has had Excalibur. I'd buy that, that that happened at some point, because there's only, you know, you gotta keep telling new Batman stories. But uh, as far as the Lego universe, I don't know. I did not see the Lego Batman movie, so that, that might have happened. Oh, well, there you go, honey. There's something familiar about him holding a sword and having the, I don't know. That's like a dream you had that one time. Right? Oh, yeah. That's what... I had this dream where I was Batman. So what's with the... Holding a sword. What's, what's with the purple, man? There's like these purple objects that are highlighting, mm -hmm. but I can't like mm -hmm. pick them up. You probably need to be... Uh, what's your face? Um, purple person. The purple person. Be a purple person. It's not Harry Potter with the headset. It's... Uh, what's his face? From Mission Impossible, right? Uh, yeah, it's uh, Ethan Hunt. Ethan Hunt. Good cast in that place out of here. Ethan Hunt. She can do purplish stuff. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. These purple things. She's here for the purple. Whoa. Uh oh. I was like real excited. Yeah, what's she doing? Can she do the purple? Ah. Yes? yes. Oh, there we there uh, there it is. Yes. I am helping. Oh! 
Come on in. Oh, are you on a spouse quest right now? No. Oh, okay. I'm I mean, quest. we're always on a spouse quest. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 so weak. What a song. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to cross. Pardon me. Pardon yep, me. Yep. Taco time. Taco oh, time. taco time. Oh, Sophie Ann. <laughs> what a nice little song. She's like, I had my antler in my mouth and I had to say hi at the same time. Oh, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know, the woo, 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 Sophie 2017. <laughs> People are saying hi to you, Oh, Hey, everybody. Oh, she's so excited. Wow! Get them all! Is it a new playset? Uh, it's just the world, like, each character, each franchise has its own, There's like, so open much. world area you can run around. Get all yeah. of them! You said you had a new Get playset for today. Um, Use the thing that sucks them towards you. I I mis I misquoted it. I just like a, a new character to play. Do you have as. the thing that sucks them towards you? This is uh, Knight Rider, man. I'm not done that. Uh, you know how in Harry Potter we had that thing yeah, that sucks towards us? Yeah, with your red bricks. Yeah, and then you don't have to go like cheats, walk dude. to all of them. Yeah. yeah. Activate your cheats. Activate your cheats. Activate your cheats. Activate your cheats. Villain to Activate your cheats. Activate your cheats. Activate your cheats. Activate or cheats. Faulty Activate or cheats. <laughs> Activate or cheats. Activate or cheats. I can buy these. Yay. Full <laughs> minifigure apparition. Occhio stu Occhio studs. Occhio studs! <laughs> yeah. You know, I use Occhio studs. So I wonder if that's. Every day. <laughs> I never, yeah, that. I guess I never bought them. Where do I get those? What? I know where to get the bricks, but I don't know where to spend. I think there's a place in the vortex. Are you, you activating have to go. it right now? I'm going back to the. I'm attempting to activate. <laughs> what? Oh. It's not just as simple as chanting it over and over again. Okay, <laughs> you actually have to find like the terminal in the game. Activate your stunts. Okay. Activate your stunts. Activate your stunts. It's like I can handle Amanda, I can handle Kyle. We put Amanda and Kyle together. Oh, wait, I messed it up already. It was activate your cheats. You buy it at the Occhio main portal. Studs. Are you also doing Ghostbusters still? Yeah, I'll do Ghostbusters eventually. I don't know if we'll do Ghostbusters today. Today's a little bit of a shorter stream. And I just I just do love the Night Rider, so. But uh, we should at least, like. Should at least just, like, now that we're back in the portal, just see what, what on earth is going on with this weird. Night, although, Ask like him. Maybe he's a quest giver. Wouldn't that be weird? And he has a bionic steed, which I'm, I'm just not going to bother with right now. <laughs> I'll get to that later. Updated version of the Lego Batman movie content is available. Okay, so this is from the Lego Batman movie. Yeah. Batman, and which I have not seen. We should probably rectify that. <laughs> rectify. So. Yeah, can you activate your Akios? I just love the animation. I love it. Uh... Do it, John yeah, you can Z. Do it. You've just been wasting time running around getting all those studs. Will you calm down? Oi. Whoa. There we Maybe go. that thing. That red brick red thing. Red brick extras. Red brick extras. Gives all major level bosses a disguise. That's really cool. No. Kyle likes it. Comic Akio. book style captions. Akio. Vehicles get back to the future effects. Akio. Akio. Wizard of Odd music plays. Akio. He makes user into a semi-transparent ghost. What? Cool. Extra stud bonus at multipliers during combat. That's yes. super, but you want the Akio Yes! Akio yes. It had no. to be a Harry Potter thing, too. Well, it? <laughs> I mean, that's where I knew it from. It's from Flower that. Flower Sprout. Destroys the objects from walking into them. One hit defeats two standard enemies. Yeah, do them all. No, because some of these are weird cosmetic things that I'm not... All studs are replaced with rings. That's funny. Jones, if you could celebrate the fact that you're activating your cheats. All vehicles yeah. play... Activate your cheats. <laughs> activate your cheats. Activate your cheats. All vehicles activate play the Knight Rider cheats. theme and talk like Kit. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Activate, activate your cheats. Cheat. Activate, activate your cheats. Cheat. Activate your cheats. That didn't cost a lot, actually. <laughs> no, it didn't. Fun sometimes doesn't. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lego Batman movie world. I gotta check that stuff out. But I didn't want to get into that until we saw the movie. Okay. Because I didn't want to like see the movie and be like, oh, that joke was actually ruined by a video game. That's weird. And this is the last stream in which Amanda appeared. 
<laughs> hey guys, remember Amanda? Remember, <laughs> remember that Night Rider stream? That was really great. Amanda, if only we'd known at the time. I need to talk to you about how much activating your cheats bothered me. It bothered me a lot. <laughs> So just, much I, so just, that I just didn't need to activate the cheat. I think I unfortunately restarted my. Uh, oh you're, my you're fired, but gosh! I think I restarted the. If you remove them from the platform when you're going to the warp, they're lost forever. <laughs> I know they just stay out. Uh, <laughs> Why did you do that to Excalibur Batman? Because I have three different types of Batmans. Goodbye. You get out in this warp tunnel, Batman. You walk. According to my scan, is the next. Game announcement, Kyle. My scan the day before the, the, the morning of the podcast, that buddy. Happens. It works out sometimes. What? By golly, we're going to have a relevant conversation tomorrow on, Remember, uh, on the internet. We're always late on news. Uh huh. And this time, for like the first time ever, we're going to be like the first people to report on this news on the podcast. Oh, sorry. Activate your cheats. <laughs> Activate your cheats. Hey! Yay! <laughs> yeah, it's working! There we go. Oh, yeah. It doesn't, have, it doesn't do like a satisfying, like. Well, it's like they're like coming. swirly thing. Like they don't appear. But no, but still... you don't have to go all the way over to them now. Yeah. Because look at this. Look how many. Look how long it would take me to play this game. Because I would have to get them all, and I would lose my mind. Actually, hold on. <sighs> like this morning, I was looking at chests in the bay, and thinking, okay, I could go in a raft with Magnesis. So you're talking about Zelda. Up. Yeah. But I don't have a lot of I time right now. Hey yo! But like, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, I don't. I want to get all of them, but I also wanted to do other things, and it was pretty hard for me to decide to move on. Because I'm probably gonna go back and get all the chests. Is the reality that I'm facing? Is that I, I have to get them all? I just don't. I need an inventory that can hold like a thousand things. Yeah, look at all of these studs that pick up. I'm just like driving. The frame rate's buckling because of stud pickup right now. It's it's the way it should be. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> Somebody had a really sarcastic <laughs> tweet, uh, or a comment tweet, uh, a comment in chat that I really enjoyed, where I did I went over this ramp, Kyle, in a race, mm -hmm. and somebody was like, uh, they were oh, like, yeah. <laughs> after I was done, they were like, did he make it? <laughs> Like, they couldn't watch. Like, <laughs> he goes, like, a total of, like, you know, two and a half feet off the ground. <laughs> Somebody was just yeah, like... Why is it like a go-kart? Why is it so small? I, I, I know it's smaller than all the other cars in the world, and it's not that fast. All the other... I keep yeah, pressing buttons really expecting... Slow. Expecting to have, like, a turbo boost or something, and it's just... No! <laughs> oh, there was a car in that hoop. Who put the car in that hoop? <laughs> 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 Who put the car in that hoop? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I like that. Oh, look at look at that stud collection. Ah, amazing. Yeah. So you can see there is that bar on the top, which oh. I restarted by exiting the world and going back. Oh. So should I just drive around and try to get all oh. all the studs and fill that up? Fill up that bar, Jones. Fill up that bar, Jones. Is Kyle drunk? No. <laughs> Kyle's never drunk. Oh. I can't get over that. You couldn't get over the curb to go over the ramp. Oh, I think that's supposed to be a dramatic billboard crash through moment, but. I'm proud of you that you would recognize that. I think, I think. Is that right. a, have you played a lot of games where there you it crash is. through billboards? No, I've played, no, except for like. Well, and I started that over again too. I had I'd done five of those, but it. Uh, too bad. Too bad. Activate the cheats. Um. Well, what am I working on right now? Um. Whoa. They asked me. I don't know what I can talk about. Uh. You've done some cool Ripley stuff lately. I have done. Some you cool did your Ripley. cool Star Trek show. I did do my cool Star Trek show and. We're uh, hoping to get on a panel at Comic Con, so if that happens, I will update everyone. Um, but it's too soon to know. And oh, and I've been doing some uh, not to talk about a potential uh, rival streaming site, but I've been doing some live improv streams on uh, Hyper RPG. Uh, and I think we're gonna do, it, it's not official yet, but we might have one on 
May 13th if our schedules work out, so I'll post about that. And that'll be with uh, Ripley, which is my... Uh, so what is Hyper RPG? I think they have a Patreon now. Yeah, they, I believe that they do. Hyper RPG is like a, it's like a game trailers, but for tabletop. Or not game trailers, Easy Allies. Okay, Sorry, Legacy, okay. Legacy Brain. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda has been rebooted. <laughs> um, wow, that was an extensive race. I covered the bases there. Yeah. Sorry, continue. Oh, what was oh, it? What else should I say about what I said? Uh, Hyper RPG, like we can just watch them on Twitch. Yeah, you can watch them on their Twitch channel. Uh, Hyper RPG on Twitch. Hyper and RPG. And they're pretty Hyper cool. Hyper RPG. Yeah, they're cool people. Um. You know, a lot of uh, love and respect in that community as well. Yeah. As far as I can tell. Your your group of people. Uh, your group of people. My group. Your actor friends has. Actor uh, friends. You, some of your colleagues have done stuff on Geek and Sundry yeah, as well. Yeah, and we we are we're, we're hoping to do a little bit of that as well. I know Elise has just started a new show. On something might be on. I think it's on Geek and Sundry. Um, but yeah. More, basically, hopefully, what you'll see more of soon is live streamed improv performances, because um, those seem to be going pretty well. And, but I, uh, I was even just talking to Ian about ways, uh, you know, that we can evolve Fiasco Nuts. Yeah. Just change, like, the way we do it, and, and not necessarily do it that way every time, but, like, try different, you know, different people, and it's just, yeah, it's so much fun. And it's fun with the audience, like, it's really fun to do on something like Twitch, like with people in chat, like, yeah. and my, to keep racking my brain to think of ways of like getting chat involved and getting people to offer suggestions and bring stuff up. Because some of my favorite things I've seen the companies uh, that Amanda's with, like when the, the senior groups, you know, like the actual company of Impro mm -hmm. uh, in Los Angeles, is they did, I think they did, you said they did like a Christmas performance? Yeah. Where they had a tree. And the tree had a bunch of ornaments with suggestions on them. Mm -hmm. And so in the middle of a scene, like in the middle of a yeah. scene, they would just be like, oh, and just like, where are you going? And it's like, oh, you know, I have to run that errand where I'm going to go pick up a plunger. And you just like, oh, we got a subscriber. Get that sub? Thumbs up a winking dog. You're, You're a, a subscriber, subscriber now. now. Thumbs up winking dog is very funny. That's a good username. Thumbs up a winking dog. Oh, there's a in the middle of that? Yeah. Okay. Thumbs up for maybe his dog. name is maybe like that's the journey like that's the name of like the animated series. Thumbs up, a, a waking, waking dog. dog. <laughs> Saturday mornings at night. Thumbs up. He don't worry about anything. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at those studs. Aren't yeah. you excited about this? Actually, I don't know what studs you're talking about because I all picked them up so fast. Right? Probably not the kind of Right? Wow. It's not so much crashing through it as it's, it's like, like kind of pushing it. It's like, <laughs> it's like slow motion is kind of overkill because you're already going slow motion. <laughs> okay, halfway there. Gotta get the studs. Gotta get them. Gotta get them. Get those studs. Flowers are studs too. Yeah, getting the tree studs. Uh oh. I'm gonna cross again. Am I gonna yeah, do it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm just punching. I'm punching trees. It's not. Just smashing square. <laughs> but Cal, you'd be proud of me. Check this out, Cal. Who should I be proud for? Close up, uh, Cam. Uh huh. Oh, nice, uh, Jones. On these guys, so when I build stuff, I could get them up close there. So exposure is a little high, but I am proud of you, John. Uh, I did it. Yeah, when you can see the detail when uh, it was uh, dark like that. We have the same problem with Gundam. Right? It's really hard to balance. Them. Yeah. <laughs> it's so catchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, the best part is, is dogs don't have thumbs. Yes. What? Sophie. So Sophie. It's, it's not actually we thumbs up. Thumbs. thumbs up doesn't have his thumbs up. Right. He's, his, his personality is just thumbs up. It's just that. Like, just encapsulates everything about him. Is that Kyle Is that Kyle? Is that Kyle? Oh, Sophie. <laughs> oh, Sophie. Oh, oh, oh. The happiest dog ever. Uh. 
Thumbs up, a winking dog. <laughs> Thumbs up, a winking dog. Thumbs up, pew, a winking dog. That's the thing, like, Sophie has winked at me before. I, I, she, like, she was not intentionally winking, but, like, yeah, she was. she's definitely just only blinked one eye. That's how they say I love you, Jones. Get out of here, guy. <laughs> it's a dog's way of showing love. How dare you. <laughs> Whoa. Guys are guns, dude. Yeah, man. It's pretty serious, but they don't shoot. Oh, oh quick... yeah! Look how quickly that Get him! Oh, man. Get him! This is where we were like, you gotta, what are you doing? <laughs> and now you know what you are doing. I got so. Wasting our time. A person! A quest camera! Get him! Hit him with your car! Oh no! People! Oh! So what's the plot? <laughs> oh look, he's got like he's got like grapple moves. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's horrific! What just I mean, happened? You knocked that man's head off. That's right. That is disgusting. Oh. Yeah, like, well, you broke the like rules of time the, and space. That's all, all you're doing in this game. What just happened? So you, like, poured into that garden from another world? Why did you do that? Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is going to have bad consequences. Hello? Can you hear me? Who, oh, wow. No, you're really oh, far we've away. Oh, that. There you go. But it appears Garth's goons have elected to park their truck across my door. Is that shit talking? But we'll have to deal with that later. No, I think that's like the guy who owns the way. estate. Sure the guy who'd like take care of like... No, and what, you know what's really interesting? Hasselhoff doesn't do night. Which is weird because <laughs> didn't, like, Dimensions would seem just like such a classic Hasselhoff thing. You know, yeah. like... Oh, no. Um, he, does, he did, uh, like, Call of Duty Zombies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not in this game. Nick Offerman does it. So... Why? I don't know. Um, Which makes you wonder. I wonder if that's, like, a classic thing people know about him. They're like, oh, you've heard Offerman's ha Hasselhoff, right? Oh. So, like, I wonder... Uh, yeah, so it was him. It's like a voice match. Oh. But, like, I don't know if... You know, it's like Kevin Spacey doing, like, uh, like the impressions that he does. I wonder if it's just like, oh, yeah, it's classic, like... At a Hollywood party, go ask yeah. Offerman to do his Hasselhoff for you. As saying something like, go ask Offerman to do his Hasselhoff sounds like just really not like a nice thing to say. Um, I got Hasselhoffed. People are giving me, giving me uh, critiques on my intensity. Oh no. Apparently I'm very intense. Uh oh. So what's the critique? So there's uh, a way there's I don't a... know if it's more if they want more intensity or more less intensity. intensity. I think they want more. Okay. <laughs> have you have you ever been told by a director more intensity? No. No? Would no. that would that be bad direction? If a director told you more intensity, would you be like No, I mean I would do it and they go, Oh, that's what that's like. <laughs> okay, now we have it. <laughs> now we have it. <laughs> now we know. Great. Thank you for that, Amanda. Um I want you to pull it back about 90%, okay? And stop moving your forehead. Okay. And stop moving your forehead? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, right. No one's ever told me that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, but really, stop moving your forehead. Yeah. If you can if you can achieve it. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You know? No forehead, I got it. Yeah. Less, less facial acting, more only in the eyelashes. If you can do some, like, fast blinking to show you might cry, that'd be great. Amanda, what I say about the forehead? <laughs> oh no! I moved it again! <laughs> Jones, walk on that wall, dude. Jones, do it. The wall that has the blue where the tubes are. The and right. the and the studs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Walk on that wall. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to do that. Probably, Probably you need the person that? that does that. I mean, you know what we need to do? I mean, it's 1124. We need to just, we need to stop messing around. And get Superman. We need to get the Man of Steel in here. <laughs> walk on the wall. Can you, I mean, can Superman walk on the wall? He doesn't need to. Oh, yeah, this is good. <laughs> yes. The magnetic stud <laughs> collection. <laughs> this is the way to do it. And maybe you'll get to the end of that bar. Maybe you will. The music is good. The music makes... It is, it is pretty good. It gets old. Like, yeah, but you know, like... Because it literally is every time he flies. <laughs> oh, and the whole time? Get that shrine. Yeah, the and shrine. like they don't... <laughs> <laughs> Do that thing? I, mean, oh, I guess so, yeah. Whoa. Drop a man. Yeah. Drop a man. Crack some packs. Whoa. <laughs> I'll be taking Meanwhile, those Meanwhile, the people staying in that hotel are like, oh. Do you, you see what they did? Look what the allies did. 
What? Everybody, I can do close-up cam. Look at what? this. Look at this. Look What's at, going on with him? Look at the abuse. What Where happened to him? I don't understand. I think you'll under. I think Chad. Oh, will understand. I see. I think Chad will understand. Oh, that's sad. Look what happened, everybody. Jones. What is? Like, look at this. Jones. That's terrible. I did it. <laughs> I did that. He just took his hat off. Jones, that's what Lego's about. I put the pool, put the bunny hat on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Jones, that's what Lego's about. No, I know, you're right. Yeah, you know, I know. Playing around. Yeah. You have all these toys. How am I even supposed to not play I gotta, with the toys? Dude? I got to know, though. Was that, was it was, was it a simple, like, Blood and Damiani were talking about something work-related and you just kind of looked over and were like, or were you like, hee It was not like, like playing a prank. It was like okay. playing with your toys. Oh, okay, cool. I love it. No, I, lo I loved it because I saw it from here. I love just, like, looking up being like, wait a minute. Also, if Blood and Damiani were talking about something work-related, that'd be interesting. But it was most likely not. Ooh. It Ooh. was most likely like, Burn. let's talk about boring video game news. Right. Finn is in no, stop it with the... the... Smash it. Hey there. I think that's information. Is it like only his golden I think he... sword? Oh, he's got the right sword now, yeah. There we go. He's got different colored swords, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> wait, what'd you get for that? Uh, just a bunch of studs. Oh. Oh. He's a little stud. Yeah, I know he's got his own pack coming up. I'm gonna go see what Shelby's up to. Oh. There he goes. <laughs> Back to the theme. I like it. Yeah, Brick's Palace. Yeah. They also pointed out in the chat that I had a Superman curl going, which I then tried to tuck away. Oh, you gotta let it stay. No, I tucked it, so now it's gone. I tucked it. <laughs> I really like this uh, perpetual Sunset Vegas. Yeah, mm. it's weird, yeah. Cool. Ooh, you can go in there? It's yeah. The house with Harry Potter? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Impossible guy. Oh, okay. Ethan Hunt, yeah. Let's go in, baby. Who knows? Maybe when later, like, you know, in his 40s, when Harry's an Auror, he, like, you know, has a little uh, radio and, like... Yeah. Maybe start, starts the magical get equivalent of the IMF. Uh, really? Do you want Go, to? Yeah, get this done. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's get this done. No, I'm, just, I'm kidding. It's oh. amazing. <laughs> it's of course. And look at his cat picture on the wall. Wait, hold on. Who's this firefighter? That's uh, Ethan Hunt. He's in disguise. Oh. He doesn't need to be. It's oh, really nice. overkill. Superman is right there, That's and right. everyone can see him. Have you done the Mission Impossible theme pack? Oh, yeah. Uh -oh, and that's actually out. and that's actually like a level. Like you're playing. Look out! Whoa, I did it. Here, let's get back. <sighs> Are you streaming till eleven thirty? Is that the uh, idea? I'm streaming until yeah, I get until I I'm crunching on hitting the end of that bar. Crunch. Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, open this vault. There might be a room full of studs. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get in there. Build it. Build, Build that thing. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not throwing it off. Okay, there we go. I might be a lone crusader in a dangerous world, but it's the world of the Knight Rider, so that's fine by Okay. Me. You like use this for something. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that lights those up. Yep, yep, yep. I remember these. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so that puts the chain here. I would go for like a reading rainbow level of Ooh. Lego Dimensions, wouldn't you? That's awesome. That'd be fun. Yeah, that's a really good call. Like a Bill Nye the Science Guy level. Ooh. Uh. Oops. Are we excited for the Goonies level pack? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, hey, I am extremely you guys, excited I am about excited. That. Oh, oh, there's man. no Mikey. It's only Chunk. I mean, what? it's only Sloth. Sorry. What? Yeah, no Mikey. It's only Sloth. It's only Sloth? Yeah. No, there'll be a playable character. That doesn't make sense. Like in the, sloth you'll, you'll, like, so you'll, like, meet them in the world, yeah. But, like, you I mean, Only you sloth, sloth. The entire game? Yep. That's crazy. It's the only one that's been announced. Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I'm not going to because I don't know. It's like a, light, a lot of these extra things only have one character attached to it. Ah, uh, in Carmen San Diego. Ooh, 
Where oh, yeah, in San the world is Carmen San Diego? Uh, she's getting a reboot. I heard. Which is just a great idea. Do it, Rockapella. Who? Is there a Flash Gordon pack yet? That would be cool. Uh, yeah, Gordon fan, you need to see the Goonies. Brandon contends that it doesn't hold up. I contend it is the greatest movie ever. Why, uh, do, why do we gotta in, get into that? I'm actually the Jones on this one. Did you notice that? Oh, snappity poo! Did you notice I didn't say anything, Amanda, about it? When yeah, like Goonies really came up, I wasn't that. like, I wasn't like, um, I think about the Goonies. And you were like, by the way, Brandon doesn't like it. It's like, what are you gonna do? Uh, I just like to keep things interesting. There are lots of Terminator 2 and Goonies fans out there, and that's fine. Let them have, let them have their fun. That's so condescending. Yeah. Totes. Just let them have their fun. Just, just let them, yeah. let, just let them, let them like what they want to like. Is there a ghost over there? And whose face is that supposed to be? That's floating above that. Thing? That's a uh, the fireman that Ethan and Hunt was that? disguised what's as. What's that? Is that like a control panel on the table? That's telling you that it's going to set up a puzzle. Like you activate that, and it sets up a puzzle where you have to move these things around to correspond to the different. What colors. if this was in real life? What? what if you like walked around and stuff like that floated up in front of your face constantly? Whoa. I mean, soon. Soon. <laughs> yeah. You know, basically, we're going to have smart contact lenses and be totally connected at all times, Black Mirror style. Wait for it. Soups soon. Play the piano? Oh. How about punch and break the piano? Yeah. Great. That's what you meant by play it, right? Yeah. Okay, we're close. If Batman had a musical, who would I play? <laughs> Harlequin, man. Right? Sure. <coughs> I, I mean, I could be, I could be Barbara Gordon too. Yeah. I'd be either one. Or I'd be Robin. Oh my. I'd probably be Robin. Like kind of like Peter Pan style. Sure. <laughs> Whoa. It really means something if Superman has to call on this guy. You're the only one who can do this. Even Superman can't do it. Amanda would be a great Joker. And no, I'm not really into Catwoman, interestingly. It'd be funny as Robin, right? Amanda's definitely Alfred. <laughs> There's a couple more races I haven't done, so that's cool. There's still some stuff to do. You gotta get the George! Amanda, you've been a voice in a Batman movie. Uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in, um, I'm in Batman Unlimited, Monster Mayhem, and Batman Unlimited, what's the other one? <laughs> Animal Instincts? Yeah, that was the first And one. then I also Counts. did a little yeah. tiny bit in the third Batman Unlimited, but I don't know that it made it into the final edit. And then I've got another thing that's not Batman. Rule breaker. Rule breaker that I crunch. Think is coming out this summer. Whoa. But I have a bigger tease. part in that. So yeah, tease. I like a tease. Yeah. Um. But yes. Thank you. It's true. Well, yeah. That's the answer to your question. Like you can just look at the camera and say, "I'm already in Batman." Yeah, but uh, I don't think they're gonna make um, my character from those Batman movies into a musical. I mean, I guess they could. The old dowager woman. I'm already canon. I'm already can. Where's my action figure? Get the studs. Don't miss the studs. What do you got? Superman soundtrack is a national treasure. For a little while. <laughs> there it is. There's Mr. Michael Knight. Knight Rider. Did you get your studs? Open world. I did. I got Rule Breaker. Oh, rule you, Breaker. You got Remember it. That? Rule Breaker. Uh, uh, so yeah, we're we're gonna shoot a couple of tabletops today. We're gonna do. We've talked about the spoiler mode, right? We can pitch that. We can sell that. No, what are we talking about? The thing we're shooting at the tabletop. Oh yeah, Damiani's been heavily promoted. Damiani is gonna sit down, and I'm not involved. I'm not even involved in this. I don't think. Uh, because I have, you know, some thing or things or two to say about Zelda, but I have other work to do today other than that. But uh, many allies are going to sit down and do a spoiler mode on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Whoa. And talk about all the things they shouldn't talk about uh, when they, you know, wow. want to avoid spoilers. 
uh, and they're going to get into that and have a long discussion. That's great. And then we're going to do our group stream, and then we're going to shoot our podcast, and then I'm going to cut the podcast and finish community comments. <gasps> and we have oh, somebody... Oh, oh! There's only one way to end a stream, and that's the ultimate the ultimate crunch. No, no, no. Pause for a second, Brad, before you walk into the shot. Chat, is Brad wearing shorts, yes or no? Have you ever seen Brad wearing shorts, yes or no? Yes. I was back at the... Brad dude, I wore out the... The easy eight court thing. I was wearing shorts oh, okay. as the judge. On camera, dude. This is God, I wore shorts all the time, dude. This is freaky. <laughs> now, maybe if you weren't wearing a hoodie, that would be something special. <laughs> oh. You're blocking the shorts. Oh, there they are. It's my giant cup. Yay, shorts. Oh, shorts. Yes. shorts. Shorts. Sophie likes them. It's spring. Embrace the season. It's true, and it's warm. And you'll yeah. be happy later that you had shorts on. Yep. As it gets warmer. Well... Thank you, Brad and Kyle, for something by but thanks Amanda for popping in and oh, yeah. keeping chat busy and hey, you know? helping me with uh, puzzles and such. The commute Encur isn't long. Encouraging me via song to unlock the, the potential of my red bricks, which yes. I had earlier. And Jones, it worked. You're gonna have a better time playing this game for the rest of your life. For yeah, sure. I feel like you might want to start over now that you have yeah. the stud collector. Just start at the beginning the again. The whole game, the whole entire thing. Yeah. But I think I I, I had to find that brick. Stud. I had to find the brick for the Occio studs. Like you don't start it with that brick. You oh. gotta find the brick and then you gotta buy the ability and then you gotta turn it on. There's a three step process. It's a three step process. So Red's I so just, deep. Thank you for subbing. Yeah. So many fun things to do. You're a subscriber now. Subscriber now Uh yeah, we're gonna go do some other stuff. So we're uh super busy today. Providing entertainment uh, for y'all, but you won't see us actually do that for another six hours and twenty-four minutes. When well, we'll come back with our our group stream tonight, can we see what we're streaming? Mario Kart Eight. Baby. Mario Kart Eight. Oh yeah. Uh, which we all have on the Switches. Uh, you said you weren't gonna get it. So you do not have it on your Switch, Kyle. Damiani is not confirmed. He's bringing it yet. I have it. I brought okay. it. Great. And Amanda and has it too, and you're not. Mine, because I'll be at class. You'll be at class, and you're not bringing your Switch. No, we should borrow it. You know. Are you gonna I, make the sacrifice for when the I allies? Have, when I have taken my Switch. Almost everywhere I go, I think, I can't wait to get to the place to play this, and then I I never use it. Nice, thank you, Brad. Like, but it's always like, good to have. Like, like, let's say one time out of every ten times I've done that, just because of my focus. Uh, but it's so good, and I'm oh, I'm very excited to do that. So that, And that was a vote, right? That was a Patreon vote? Oh, yeah, they actually voted for which way we'll play Mario Kart 8. Which way? Forwards yes. or backwards? We're doing a tournament. Oh, nice. A so tournament to know I... Yeah. We're doing a tournament. We're doing a tournament. In about six hours. We'll see you back then, Joshi. Thanks for watching, everybody.